Hello, Leo. This is your reading for the second week of April, 2019. I don't get too date specific just because date and time is very human and we are working with spirits and energies here, so they don't play by the same rules. In which case, I just ask what they would like me, would like to show me for this week and what's relevant to you and go based on that. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate for you, check the other signs in your chart and watch one of those videos. Or if you would like to book a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below, and there we can get into your situation specifically. And then also the energies that I'm reading, I'm just reading it based on how I'm sensing it. Feel free to swap the characters and placements if that resonates more with you. All right, um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Okay, so um, I see that you've really been on, it's interesting because I feel like you have really been protective over something that you're working towards something that maybe has had a little bit of delay to it, but you're seeking to find balance in it. Feels like work could be um, soulmate or relationship from the past that you're dealing with. I do sense some relationship stuff going on. I feel like there might be a soulmate that you're dealing with. However, that's not the prevalent energy, I don't think, this week. It seems more to me, um, <clears throat> for those of you Leos, I feel like I'm connecting with a Leo that's very creative. So in whatever sense that means in your work maybe, you're creative, you've been waiting for some opportunities to come in, and um, maybe you've had some small offers, little things here and there, um, but nothing that's really kind of taking your pentacles to the level that you you know, had originally been envisioning. But do not worry because that, I believe, is coming, actually. You may receive some information this week. Um, something, some sort of offer. It may not seem like a humongous offer, but I think that it could be a good choice. It's a choice that's going to bring you victory and happiness. So even if this offer seems a little bit small, it's a little slow going and delayed, um, I do feel like you should choose this offer. It will bring you a lot of balance and, and some clarity. So I think this is a really good path for you. It will help you kind of, um, whatever this is, could, it could be more than one thing, but it's gonna kind of start to jumpstart this this change, you know, the wheel's gonna start to change. So you can become more predominant in your empire, in your field, whatever you're doing. It looks to me like a lot of you Leos are pretty creative in the arts. You know, maybe some of you are actors, maybe uh, creators of some kind, some sort of artist. Um, you don't have to be, but it's just like, you're, if you're not, you're, you're creating something. You know, like whether that be designing a house, creating, there's a lot of creating going on. That's why I say it feels artistic. Um, you are just such a creative individual, I can't get over it. Um, but yes, look forward to some good things um, with money if you're open-minded to the opportunities, you know. Um, Really just try to keep a handle on your emotions and do business based on logic. That would be good because you're coming up a little bit um, uh, in the past a little bit emotionally. Well, you know, a little more emotionals than Leos like to run, you know, so I don't know if there's been some stress, some family stress, I got that word popped into my mind, that sort of made you feel a little bit, ugh, man. Um, but it's okay because you are gonna, you know, something about your foundation, family, something was kind of stressed, a little stressful, causing you to be more emotional than a Leo would naturally. You guys are fantastically focused individuals. Maybe you moved recently, got a, something to do. I don't know, there's just been something going on in your life that was changing. Um, 
But this week, it is, it's time to let those changes roll, which I think you will, um, because there's this offer coming in, creative offer. And um, you're, you might have to work pretty hard for it. And there might be, or you have been working hard. Um, there's, it's something that's a very competitive field. Um, and you've been fighting for a long time with it. And I think that you're going to start to kind of come out on top though, you know. But again, it's not like abracadabra overnight. But this energy, you're going to start to finding that balance. Whatever offers coming into you, whatever communication is the start of something good, okay? Your seeds are going to start to grow. They are. And I think you'll be able to see some remnants of that this week. Um, if you've been having trouble in a relationship, some fighting maybe, I think also that could lighten up a little bit. Either that or you're just not going to be as interested in putting energy into the fighting. Either one. Like something is just like, well, okay, we're done with this. We need to be done with this here. Um, yes, but yeah, I'm excited for you. Money, money, or opportunity. Go for it. Don't be deceived just because it's a little small, came in a little slow. All right, so I'm just gonna pull a few oracle cards here for from the Magic Earth Oracle deck. They're a little big, so it's hard for my hands to handle, but. All right, universe, what would you like me to show Leo, please? Okay, all right, all right. Three cards right off the bat. See, see that's why I say Leo is so, the way that it delivered the cards to me is just how Leo works. Like, okay, perfect, one-stop shop, everything you need to know right here um so that's why it's like whatever's had your emotions a little bit upturned it's not usual for you so you'll get back in your game don't worry about it this offer's gonna make you excited all right okay so you've been in a time of solitude or you've been recently seeking solitude if you have not then this week i suggest to do so. The reason why is because you need to get in tune with the instincts that the universe, you know, your natural instincts, they will guide you. The universe and your intuition will literally tell you the path you need to take, okay? Um, you got the wolf here. The wolf is not a super emotional creature, but he does get things done right because why he goes by his instincts you got island so take that time away see nobody's on this island you need to go to your own island or your bedroom or, or closet where, wherever you can find that moment um and when you do so the lotus flower see the lotus flower is so beautiful such a mystical plant it really is and you'll find in this solitude that, that your instincts will lead you to the blooming of yourself. This week, you're going to start to bloom. If you listen to your instincts, but you will. I think you will because you've got the wolf here. I think you're doing what you need to do. And these offers, they're going to come in more frequently as you start to bloom and as you start to be that charismatic Leo self that you guys are. I mean, you're just a, such a fabulous, fiery sign, you know? Level-headed, but has that, I don't know, Leos are just, you guys are, are classy, but don't mess with them type of thing. It's you, wonderful blend. I really like Leos. Um, so yes, go within yourself. Find the beauty. There's so much beauty inside of you that's just waiting to bloom waiting to for you to pay attention to it you know you've been distracted in the past couple months but your instincts are going to be leading you somewhere great somewhere that's going to bring you offers creative offers mental stimulation things where you know that's going to change the wheel of your luck so yeah all right well this is exciting 
Um, I'm excited for you. I love this, the way this feels. So, okay. All right, I will see you next week.